Hi, Isaac from Link here, and in this video, we're gonna take a quick look into what direct injection is, and some of the things you'll need to consider before tuning with it. Direct injection, or DI, is a method of fuel delivery in modern internal combustion engines. As the name suggests, the fuel is injected directly into the combustion chamber rather than traditional port injection where the fuel is mixed with the air in the inlet or the intake manifold before entering the combustion chamber. The advantages of DI are significant, including greater degree of control over the timing and the amount of fuel delivered, better fuel efficiency and combustion, reduced emissions and increased power output from delivering higher compression ratios without knocking. For initial setup, many parts of the system need accurate characterization. This can be categorized into two types, injected data, such as current profile and flow characteristics, and the fuel pump information cam profile, such as pump control tuning and target pressures. We'll delve deeper into this later. Gaining most of this information is complicated and requires specialist equipment. It is also very time consuming. So before attempting to tune a direct injection engine, we recommend you do a viability study to determine if the time and resources required are worth the benefits of switching to direct injection. There are a range of things to consider. Can your ECU or DI driver drive your particular injectors? You will need a setup like Lynx G5 Voodoo Pro ECU and a DI Driver 4 driver module. Can your ECU or DI driver drive your high pressure fuel pump? Can you get all the characterization information yourself? Do you have access to the tools needed? An oscilloscope, current probe, direct injector flow bench, dial gauge, and a degree wheel? Do you have the time? A full characterization from scratch will take a full week or two, maybe longer. This makes sense if you're planning on tuning many of one particular engine, but maybe not if you're going to do a one-off tune. You'll have a hard time passing that cost of 100 hours onto one customer. Most engine manufacturers are now using DI, such as Ford, VW, and Toyota, to name a few. So chances are in five to 10 years time, most tuning will be direct injection. By starting to learn now, you can stay ahead of the game. The key components in the direct injection system are a low pressure fuel pump, which is typically in the fuel tank. This supplies fuel to the high pressure fuel pump, typically camshaft driven, which delivers fuel pressures 30 to 50 times greater than traditional fuel injection. The fuel is then supplied via high pressure fuel lines to the high pressure fuel rail, which stores the fuel. A pressure sensor mounted on the fuel rail measures the rail pressure and relays this to the ECU. The high pressure injectors which are mounted on the fuel rail, deliver the fuel directly into the cylinder. The ECU, or Lynx DI driver module, controls the operation of fuel injectors based on various engine parameters, such as engine speed, load, and temperature. The ECU calculates the precise amount of fuel needed for optimal combustion, and adjusts the fuel injector operation accordingly. The key components for dual port and direct injection systems such as on the Toyota 86 or later model Golf GTIs, are similar to what we have just covered. In a dual port and direct injection car, the low pressure fuel pump supplies not only the fuel to the high pressure fuel pump, but also directly to a separate low pressure fuel rail, which supplies the port injectors located in the intake manifold. Before you get the vehicle on the dyno, you'll need to know what type of direct fuel injectors you have, the more common solenoid type or piezo. This is important as most aftermarket ECUs cannot control piezo injectors. A Google search should be able to determine your injector type. On visual inspection, piezo injectors are typically smaller and more elaborate than their solenoid counterparts. To find an injector current profile, you need to do some reverse engineering using an oscilloscope with a current probe. You'll need to capture and analyze the waveform generated by the injector to establish the peak current, hold current, and response times. To characterize injectors, you will require a flow bench specifically designed for direct injectors. To measure various parameters under controlled conditions, such as flow rate and injector dead times. You will need to know what type of fuel pump you have and whether it is normally open, normally closed, or pulse width modulation, or PWM. A Google search may be able to determine if your fuel pump type is one of these. One trick is to test if it's normally open or closed. 
If you see the pressure decreases when you unplug the pump, it is normally open. If it increases, it is normally closed. To calculate the camshaft profile, you will need to measure the lift and duration of each cam lobe for the high pressure pump. Lift is the maximum height that the lobe raises the valve off its seat, and duration is the angle between when the lobe begins to lift the valve and when it returns to its seat. Measuring a direct injection fuel pump dead time is a complex task. The easiest way to get this information is from the factory ECU. If that is not possible, you'll need to find a way to reverse engineer it from the fuel pump. If you can get this information from your car's factory ECU, it will streamline your tuning time. Though you can work this out on the fly as you tune. Link is looking to provide injector current profiles and camshaft profiles for some popular vehicles. And as time goes on, we will continue to provide more data for more and more vehicles. To see if we currently provide this information for your engine, please visit the DI driver support section on our website. The main benefit of using Link's characterizations are to save you a lot of time by not having to reverse engineer them yourself. Having Link provide you the injector current profile, injector flow characterization, and camshaft profile could tell you if it's feasible to tune a specific vehicle. Other benefits include knowing that the data you are using has been tested, being able to use the data to identify potential issues or limitations before you invest too much time in the project, allowing you to address any issues up front and simply allowing you to focus on the tuning itself. Once you've gathered all this information, you're ready to start tuning your direct injection powered vehicle on the dyno. Tuning direct injection is much the same as traditional port injection, though there are additional considerations to work through, such as injection timing and fuel rail pressure. To find out more, please visit the support section of our website at linkecu.com, our online forums, or contact our 24-6 tech support team. And be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos like this. See you soon.